We could we could get into these the small forward rankings now. Yeah. Um, all right, all right. Because right. I know we're gonna spend some time on these, and we're not trying to have a, another <laughs> two hour podcast. So we could hop straight into these small forward rankings. Who's starting? Who's starting? Um, it was a top twenty five list, right? <laughs> <laughs> number ten. ten number ten. Hours. Wait, honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. I got two honorable mentions. Oh, cool, cool. Me too. Can I hope that honorable mentions I don't get flamed again? I have none today. So. Go ahead. Uh, I got my, two of them. My two honorable mentions are Keldon Johnson and Jeremiah Grant. Chermai. What? Why Jermai. is he even on this it list? It shouldn't even be notable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How? They're 22 point per game players. I will players. not honor this. 22. 22. Jeremy Grant never averaged 22 points 21. per game. 21. <laughs> Keldon averaged 22. <laughs> okay, and what, what uh, ranking yeah. are they? Like 13th and... Like 11th. Yeah, 11th. Yeah, 12th. 13th. It's an honorable 11, mention, bro. How are they honorable if they're getting stats on bad teams? It's honorable mention, bro. I got real honorable mentions. Oh, honorable mention. I got real honors. All right, go ahead. We got Franz Wagner. Honorable mention. He's young, okay, so I can't put him on the list yet. Better than those two. I what? Nah, he's, he's not better. He's not, he's not yeah, because it's upside for going he into is. next season. Oh he is. Going into next season, he's better. Yeah, I, man, I, I, I I'll make so a too. bet with anybody here that Franz Wagner have a better season than those two like, players. He's going to get a shoulder dislocation. Like, you want to make that bet? We can add the wheel into this. Yeah, yeah I, I'll make that bet with anybody here. No, I think Franz is nice. He doesn't want to back it up. I like Franz, but I'm just saying he's a better season. I see what he's doing in German and for the German team, man. I'm just saying. And in my other honorable mention... I don't know if he's going to like this. It's Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins is my oh. honorable mention. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He had a down year last year. You know, he he came off that all-star year. You know, he okay, still played not, pretty good. I love you. My phone, whoa, my whoa, whoa, whoa. Tight, tight. <laughs> you, he don't know you, bro. I got to wear a cape for my man. <laughs> um, he's still a great player. I just think the players above him give a little more on both ends of the ball. Not that he's bad. Again, he's an honorable mention. He'll be 11. I think he's better than Franz. So it was between him and my number 10 for that 10 spot. I picked. I already know you have at ten. I, I picked a player at a uh, different player at ten because I think he had a better season mm. um, overall. And um, <laughs> I also think, uh, I mean, Wiggins, he, you know, he was in and out uh, uh, with t- dealing with personal issues, so not the greatest season, but he's still yeah, a good but this player. This is going into next he's still season. Still a good though. player. Yeah, yeah, relax. He, yeah, but I still <laughs> think <laughs> it's still Steph's team. You got Chris Paul, who's gonna have the ball a lot. You know, you still got Clay, who you think is gonna bounce back. So you know, there's got to be a certain amount of players that can bounce back. Gotta um, have a warrior on every list. Did How you have Kuminga? Got to get <laughs> the, 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 the rock. So. gonna be on there. I got point guard, shooting guard, small forward. <laughs> Did you have a ten uh, honorable mention? I don't really have an honorable mention, but I'll, I'll shout out to uh, shout out Middleton. Shout out. Uh, you didn't put Middleton at all? Nah, nigga. That's crazy. He's shout not out. on my list either, though. Damn, yeah, y'all he's tripping. Not on my list. Yeah, y'all <laughs> tripping. Y'all tripping. One season he's hurt. Because of age too. Shout out Gordon Hayward, three time All Star. Three time All Star. No, no, Hayward. not Gordon. Hayward. No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Shout out Scotty Barnes. <laughs> right, I'll start with the ten. <laughs> no shout out Scotty Barnes. I'll start I'm with just, the ten. I'm just shouting him out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is like just yeah, small for as I like. All right, I'll start the ten because it's already eleven to come. All right, my number ten. A best said Wiggins. I Wiggins at my ten. So same things as he said. Um, he had a he had a down year off the court stuff was you know keeping him from playing, but I think this man has championship DNA. He's gonna you know play what he. I think he's gonna. Bounce back to what he did when he was an all star. Just he has more games in. Okay. So I think that's top ten worthy in my opinion. All right. All right. At my ten, I have MPJ, Michael Porter Jr. Oh, that's interesting. Ass. I didn't put him on my list at all. Oh, yeah. really? He was, he was another him. honorable mention. The reason yeah, I, I have like him on my list is because he's <laughs> <laughs> he won a championship <laughs> with the way that he plays. <laughs> His play style helps teams win championships, but he's just one dimensional. Like all he can do is that's why he much can't shoot. be on the yeah, list. Yeah, he like, I mean, he's better than list. all the other players. He's not like, on the list, Mike. I think he's no, better he's than. No, he's not. I will name a player mentioned. right now at my number ten who's better than him. Right, I mean, he's higher on your list actually, but is OG Ananobi. Number 10 on my list. I didn't have him on He's my not list. on my list. Yeah, he's definitely better than Michael Porter Jr. There's no question yeah. to me. Uh, well, two-way he player, affects- better. Sh- he's 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 a good shooter. Not as good as MPJ, obviously, but he could he could hit the shot better. He's a more well-rounded player on offense. Miles ahead defensively. He's an all-defensive player. I'm pretty sure he could sure argue he that MPJ has better playoff games than... At OG has. Yeah. What, what 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 is OG going to do in the playoffs with the Raptors? Exactly. What is OG going to do in the playoffs? Do you, do you think if, if OG was on the Nuggets, he couldn't do what MPJ is doing anymore? Hit, though. He's going to be on the Raptors next season. Okay, but I, I, I know, and I still think he's a better player overall. I'm not saying what he's going to do for the team. I MPJ mean, is like lacking. We're yeah, stuck at number 10 again. Skill-wise, but are we not going gonna to give... MPJ credit for the championship run because I don't no, think no because it's have. not because of him that they won but it's a he's a, a reason he's a part of it but it's if like OG was Aaron on the Gordon. team if OG was on the team he'd be a part of it too I know you'd be giving Aaron Gordon and his props for his championship run what do you mean like you'd give him props for what he did you'd rate him to, higher for the championship run exactly. I mean I, I'm saying yeah he helped win the championship I'm not taking that away from him but I'm just because of that I'm not putting him on top ten small forwards list just because he I helped he the had, team win a championship well I think it his talent res- resonates with, as to why they win you I, have MPJ on your ten. 
Yeah. Well, MPJ is not on my list. Yeah, I don't, Martin, I, I, MPJ wasn't even on honorable mention, but well, that's I'll, why I'll I, chime in real quick. I, I understand why you have OG there, but oh, OG, I think it's just better overall, and he he MPJ made all defensive team. He has he made all defensive team. He's been uh, he he's obviously constantly been most improved player conversations. He's averaged twenty points per game. MPJ hasn't done any of those things, so I think I, he did help help his team win get get to a championship. He's a great shooter, knockdown shooter, one of the most efficient shooters in the league. But that's about it. He's slow footed on defense. Like Omari said, he has some low IQ plays sometimes. <laughs> he came back from injury you know, too, though, so that's also a different factor. thing to factor into his game. Which I'm saying, yeah, like consistent OG Ananobi's been involved. Yeah, MPJ just came back with like last I'll year. Give you, well, he's uh, been injured. He's had back injuries yeah, his whole career, injuries. so it's not like oh my god, he just got injured at a down year. He's always been like this. He's it's always not, been injured. I'll say, so, I'll and give it's you a that. Uh, OG is a better individual player but i think mpj is a better team player and team success i still disagree with that too that's a hard take. i still disagree oh you can't sh- can't even shoot like, like that a steamy real, take huh? bro, he's, he's a he's a 35 plus percent three-point shooter he's that's a great three-point that's a I steamy I take a, overall player wise on a team michael porter or og ah what are you looking for it depends on what you OG, want on team. i think og is more complete though huss you got to say that you got to say better individual player as for a team he might have not have shot as good last year do you think og on the nuggets would be a better fit well, for them? Well, I mean, if they want shooting, they're probably going to choose Michael. But if they want everything else, they'll yeah, get OG. Yeah, if, the if they want a if slight they, downgrade at shooting and better everything else, yeah. they, give, they get OG. Because, yeah, we, for the all the shooting, we can talk spaces. Michael so Porter. Yeah. Who's going to get traded for five first-round picks? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. yeah, that's crazy. I'm not <laughs> saying not worth five first-round picks. Yeah, but he, he's definitely better than MPJ all around. Like, he's a better player. I think if he has the opportunity, he's not the type of player to – have a bag, but he, I even say, seen NBA players say that he's a type of guy that if he was on his own team, he could show people that he could do more with the ball in his hands. I'm not saying I necessarily agree with that, but if the NBA players are saying that, I got to believe him. 39% yeah, so, from yeah. three. Yeah, 39% from three, so I'll give you what that. MPJ, what did but, MPJ uh, shoot? I think I he shot at a higher I'm clip, a, though. <laughs> that's for sure. I'm going to check, check right now. Percentage. Michael Porter. But, uh, he shot six. Five what five did he average, nine. though, points-wise, MPJ for Probably the like 15, 16. To guess. He, sh- like he averaged 15, 17 15, points 17. and he shot 41% from three. So slightly yeah, better. Get, better too. What is what did he do for rebounding? Maybe Not seven, much. Six. It's probably it's it's same. It's like but then you gotta see the OG averaged 16.8, five aspect. and two. But uh I MPJ has defensive potential with his build, though, too. Potential, Obviously, OG's better. Potential, but he's bad. They yeah. hunt him on defense. Season. They literally so say, MPJ, come here. We're going to one-on-one. I think, gonna, gonna gonna one on one. I think mm-hmm. this is not crazy to have him like flip-flop. Uh, realis- I think it is real- realistically close, in my opinion. Like, what you guys are both saying, I agree with both of the things you guys are saying. Yeah, I, I can see why you have my 10. I, I think OG's uh, definitely better. But, you know, well, we could agree to disagree. Who do you got at 10, Omari? I got Wiggins. Okay, hey. you got Wiggins. Yeah, I feel like... I mean, I just feel like the people above him are better, but <laughs> Wiggins Simple. did have a down year, but I do think that, like, uh, aside from all, like, the off-court stuff and stuff that was happening, I feel like if that wasn't happening, he'd play better. Definitely. So I feel like next year he'll just play better, basically. Yeah. We could see he could definitely move back definitely. in. Definitely. He's, he's the player that I'm honorable mentions that I'll say could leap up in the list the most. Right, well, uh, obviously other than Franz, because he's young. All we right, got uh, a nine. Nine? At nine, I got... Kuz. Kuz? Really? Kuz, yeah, man. He didn't even make list? my list. What? He's not he even make honorable mention. That's crazy. good. I like how he, he have didn't make your list. list. No. Hell no. How? Hell he's no. A, he's a, cha- he's a stat chaser. Oh, my God. Give your reason why. That's, 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 that's propaganda. Franz Wagner is better than Kyle Kuzma. Stop. 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 I'm serious. Stop. 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 Put some respect on Kuzma. Next season? Next season. Yes, next season. It'll be close. You think Kuzma's not going to average like 25? It'll be uh, 25 on like You got Kuz on your seat. list? Kuz on my Okay, right, I'll say him, this let him, let him I'll say my nine while he looks No, 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 don't say no I'm just asking if Kuz is uh, on your list I want to hear his reason And o- is OG on your list? No, he's not on my list That's crazy OG on yeah. list. He'll make a, a billion percent better than Kuz No know. conversation I don't know No conversation I don't know I think I think Wiggins is better than Kuz I think Kuz I think Kuz is You're tripping, bro No, What? Kuz offense is better than those two That's crazy Kuz hustles more than those Bro, he does Come on You guys are hating 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 yeah, on Kuz way too much. This is the Lakers. Uh, no, 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 you guys are I'm a Lakers fan. I'm He's not the Wizards. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm not even well, the real Slim, sh- slim Shady. G- give your reason. Give your, give, give your yeah, reasoning, bro. Why. I want okay. to hear it too. This the is nigga, crazy. Okay, you, you can't just say he always oh, a stat chaser. Like, the nigga averages 21, you know, 27, 3, and like, what, 4? Like, he got went to a new team. What did he shoot from 3? I'm just asking. Uh, what was 3.3? 33. Okay. You know, I think he could get better. Like, he shot better last year. You know, if he works better. You know, he could easily improve that, but he already averaged 21 points. His stats are empty to me. He was the best player on his team, like, 
No, he wasn't. You know, how, how are you, he was averaging 14 points on championship how, you, how can you and convince me Michael Porter's better than Kuzma right now? Niggas because he helps player. win. Oh he helps winning games. He's he, on a winning team MPJ with the old MPJ is kids. better. MPJ is better than Kuzma oh, too. What? He helps, he helps what? Team. what? Okay. You guys are he's on a winning team. Kuzma, nah. okay. He's in New York. He's with the MVP. You asked me a question. Okay, continue. Keep talking. No, because he asked me. He said something and I had to say something. Like MPJ will have a longer career than Kuzma because of what he specializes in and I what, how he can say, I, I think so because Kuzma like his stats are empty. Like, Kuzma hustles on DC. One, the, bro, the like, year, what did he have? He's on a bad team. Lakers? He that's doesn't even hustle that 15, much, bro. 15, 18. Okay, and that's then what, what was Porter what was MPJ's right role on as a championship team? A shooter, a, ch- a literal uh, seventeen dude, points. And Ma- he Michael Porter play defense. Michael Porter's and he role. Score. Michael Porter's role is to literally yeah, let go of the ball in the hoop. That's what was Kuzma's role on the Lakers? He does so many things. He rebounds. He passes. He cuts. He does so much for the team. Okay, and you act like what I'm saying point. is like we look crazy point. blasphemous. But him as the one, like he takes as the one. None stance. of these, none, these guys are not ones. Like nine, ten, eleven. Honor, they're not one no, guy. He's not gonna be a one or Kuzma two next year. The one or two. On yeah, but that's what we're talking Unless about. Unless Jordan Poole so is like fucking twenty six or something, bro. Yeah, his stats are empty. Last year, if we're talking about last year, he I think plays for the Wizards. Yeah, it's not his fault. He Wizards. plays for the Wizards. Like, okay, you, can't, you can't couple it with saying he has empty stats. He plays on the worst he's not team. Doing, okay, but if you want to, he's not doing. Oh, dude, he's not even letting me talk. You're cutting me off every time I'm trying to make a point. He's not doing what he did on the Lakers to uh, help them win a championship. Like if he did what he did on the Lakers on the Wizards, they'd be a far higher seed. Bro, like. he played with nah. LeBron and Davis. Yeah, How can you say crazy. these things right now? But if he people's personnel they play with, I they, see what Huston's saying. If Let, he implemented the same stuff that he did on the Lakers onto the Wizards, they'd have far more wins than uh, what. Well, they Well, no, did in I, the past. I won't say that, but you, he's just not doing the wins. same thing. You can't not say, doing the same. You thing. can't. Yeah, yeah, you play with LeBron and Davis. The team he's still playing behind. Kristaps and Beal. No, no, he is. He is. Was he but not? you can't compare Kristaps and Thing to LeBron and Davis. I'm just saying they're he's going for the, two people. One team is going for the championship. But he can still implement the same thing. Oh, like oh, 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 let, let me let me let me chime in here because I agree with what Huston's saying, but I just don't agree that they wouldn't win more games because the team is bad. But his role would be different if they, he was on a winning team. The Wizards aren't a winning team, so he's asked. You know, well, he's not asked. He just does different stuff because he can. He scores more. He takes the ball in his hands more. He has more initiative. But on a winning team, he's like a stretch four kind of three he's kind of a little too slow footed to be a three was he even he starting that. on the lakers 2020 run yeah he was yeah he was that's that was season we won yeah but he always averaged like 13 points and i know he was a different a little different player back then but Yo, that you're not gonna ago, ask like, him to do that on a winning team and he's not gonna go back to doing that either yeah and it's like i i, I don't know i think but I, the way he's he scores, getting better <laughs> He he, yeah, he like, has a limited ceiling. He's he's older than a lot of these other players too because he spent four years in college. I think he is what he is. You know, he's a good shooter. I'm not saying he's a bad player, but he's very limited. His defense is not that great. Like all of these players that we have on these on this list are better defenders. You can argue MPJ has better defense. Nah, than Kuzma's him. underrated yeah. defender. Nah, that's super is, cap. This Michael that's Porter agenda is crazy nah, right that's now. That's OG and Obi clears him in defense. Yeah, OG Wiggins clears the best defense. Okay, offensive back Kuzma beats both of them. Clears. No, 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 no. No, not no. Wiggins. OG and Michael. No. No. Yes. Offensive. He have clear. Dude, they both average 17. This dude and this man average 21. Yeah, on the Wizards. Uh, but yeah. well, I don't want to talk about team and then not talk about like people he played with. You know what I'm saying? If but you're saying clear Lakers, offensively. Kuzma's bag is better than both of those guys. But he doesn't clear like he them. Has a, he has a more, way more of a Who back. Who cares about he can the be better offensively? Okay, I'll take look. the clear back. Way better. Way better at all. It's not offense. way better either. It's Bro. just better. Kyrie has a bigger bag than fucking LeBron, Kyrie, but is he a yeah. better player? Like, no. <laughs> no, no. It's I said a stupid That's bag. Said the Who cares about a bag? Argument. Offense argument. All right, but Kuzma, for the last few years, he's only gotten better. Like, you can't just... Context give a nigga matters, got, though, nigga, Okay, but he got traded to a new team. He averaged 17 the first year. He averaged 21 last year. Next year, he has less players on his team. Who's on his team? It is, yes. it'll go up, but just Ty Jones is gonna defeat this man. Ty Jones, like they 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 lost their two biggest players. They're the You're two right. people in front of him. His stats will go up. He, he won't contribute to winning. It's fine. Yeah, okay, but he's I on the Wizards. That's not his fault. He's not supposed to win on the Wizards with Jordan okay, Poole. Like, like well, you're not dude, expecting if you put, playoffs. If you put Wiggins on the Wizards, that dude's clearing what Kyle Kuzma does. Like he did on the Timberwolves. He averaged over twenty. If you put OG on the Wizards, he can average twenty points too. Like it's not that on the Wizards. I don't think OG's a twenty point per game player. On the Wizards, he can be on the Wizards. He's averaging seventeen behind Pascal Siakam. He's averaging seventeen. With Fred VanVleet, Pascal, Scotty Barnes. Scotty he, Barnes. And he averaged 17 like, Scotty, points. Scotty. But he drafted him fourth overall, okay, though. He, he, has, he has the ball. He has 13 points. Yeah, he has the ball Scotty, in his hands. Scotty, exactly. Scotty Barnes like, averaged 13 points, man. We're not going. But yeah, he gets the ball not, in his hands. They okay, want to develop he's him. He's taking like, away from OG. Okay, the point. Kuzma, and Kuzma was the third option. Kuzma was the third option. Kuzma was the third option and averaged 21. Okay, we're saying OG was the third option. I'm saying. Behind two. Kuzma's averaging 21. Okay, 
The Wizards Siakam's weren't trying to win games. They're just literally Van chucking up shots. Everybody had empty, empty uh, spot or empty stats on that team. But okay, the but same empty stats just, for the worst yeah, team doesn't like, make. That's doesn't not okay, exactly. We're saying like if you want to put it's these like players, why should they even come play basketball? Okay, for <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> why should they play? Y'all, <laughs> all their stats is empty. You got to put it into context though. If no, you're putting OJ and over and MPJ onto those teams or Wiggins, they were averaging more than Kyle Kuzma and they do more than Kyle Kuzma. Yes, I don't think MG. I don't think MPJ and OJ are averaging more than twenty one or Wiggins. Okay, if you want to put Wiggins, Wiggins is close because Wiggins I think is. Like, We've seen Wiggins do the same well, thing. Even in if it's not more, they're gonna have like one point less and give you but more Wiggins, in every other category. Wiggins, I mean, ask you this. Wiggins for the past like uh, Warriors run has been like a uh, number. It's still seventeen. Tertiary like it's still two to three type of defense, player, though. second or third option. Yeah, right? but it's still seventeen. Right. Okay, still seventeen. Kuzma's been a third option, average twenty one. First year, last year, seventeen to twenty one, and then he now he got he got the keys to like okay, I don't know. Let trash, me ask you this. Trash organization. Let me ask you this. He could yeah, do like better. he could easily is, average is like peak Minnesota. Andrew Wiggins better than Kuzma right now. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. Wiggins was mm. the best on on the Warriors last uh, when he won at All Star. That's his best season. Yeah, it is his best season. Like, but offensively, he was like totality. But I'm talking about in terms of stats. He was scoring on the Timberwolves. He was scoring. Yeah, yeah. So case closed, right? How was his case? Bro, what is his case? Look, I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna give you MPJ. But like Hudson said, how is that? What world is Andrew Wiggins not better than Kyle Kuzma? I don't even know. I was mainly talking about OG and MPJ because we're talking about going into the next season too. Like, yeah, and obviously, okay, but it's not. It can't just be like, oh well. I've seen way more from Wiggins. He contributes to winning because he's on the fucking Warriors. He's just obviously he's gonna contribute to winning. He's better at basketball. He's okay, better at basketball. But he's on the Warriors. And Kuzma category, won too. Okay, category. if Kuzma was on the Warriors, he, he would also that. be winning games. Like, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't be he doing what would, he would. Hey, no, no, let bro. me say this. What? Let me say this. Let me say this. You bro, let let me say like You niggas act like he shoots 45%. Is, Wiggins, is Kuzma going to play the same defense as Wiggins? No. No. He's going to try. He's going to try. But he's going to score the same clip the same way that he got to do He's a decent defender, though. No, he's not going to. MPJ is like nearly. He's not averaging 17. Near him. Like, MPJ is not nearly as. As decent as Kuzma is. Okay, I can give defense. you the MPJ. Yeah, like, we'll, we'll, when we'll, it comes we'll, to defense, whatever. Things, MPJ, Kuzma, sure. Kuzma's a good, like, he's a decent defender. He can play good defense. No, you know, man. OG and Wiggins are better. Yeah. But have you seen okay. MPJ ever do a cut in your life? That man doesn't even cut. Okay. And my, Kuzma's I, literally. I, I'll give you that. Oh, he cuts going MPJ. into next season. We're talking about going into next yeah. season. The only reason I have a green light to, like, literally the next best person is Jordan Poole now instead of playing behind Bradley Beal, behind Chris Paul. looking at stats. Okay, but what else are you going to. That's not his fault that the team is ass. He's on the worst team in the East. He's on the worst team. Okay, but he's on the worst team in the league. If you put these players, if you put OG and Wiggins on the Wizards, they're going to continue to get better. If you put Andrew Wiggins on the Wizards, they're going to do the same thing that Kyle Kuzma's doing. But they're not on the Wizards. Huh? I said, but they're not. Like that's the point. Okay, like, but you have to take into season, context as to Okay, why. but next season yeah, when you're going, you're using the context I'm, argument for Michael Porter. You like, said, "Oh, okay, winning like, team, winning when Brad, when Bradley Beal averaged thirty, I'm gonna put him at number one just because he averaged thirty. What are you talking? What are we talking about? Right when now? he did on the Wizards? Because what regard? What are you ranking the him? The Wizards, just on the Wizards. Like, well, what are you ranking Putting up for? numbers. You're, he's saying because he's gonna like the best shooting guard in the league. Oh, like like let's say theoretical top five shooting guard. Yeah, no, number one. He's the top five shooting guard. Put him at number one. Who was the shooting guard at the time? It was before Booker. It was number one. Am I'm I gonna to put think him of who the one? fucking people were? Let me give it a second. James Harden, Jevin Booker, Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brown. Okay, if it was James Harden, James Harden had more points, so he's already ahead of him. By yeah, that logic, yeah. so that's that's one. Who else? It was before I Booker. Don't know. So. Probably Clay Thompson. Mitch, I don't yeah, know. Clay. You, I'll take Clay. But then yeah. you'd use context. Clay. You you'd want to use context for Clay Thompson? Four time champion, three time champion, two time champion. <laughs> you'd want, you'd be sitting here saying that right that's now. That's how he affects how he affects winning for yeah, sure. Kuzma got a ring. That's why you have to use how context many into your clips. How many rings OG got? Into your picks. One. He actually got a ring. Ah, Wiggins got a ring too. I was about to tell you. I was about to tell you. Who's my ring better? Now nah, I forgot that. he won with weak ass. I'm just squad. saying, use context nah. into, for <laughs> cool. your top ten because these players, if they're nah, in their position, it's, but, but they, at the end of the day, not like, their like he didn't choose to play the Wizards. You're acting dumb though. Like, but if a nigga, no, but if a nigga, change. like if a dude ends up, like I expect him to go to 23, 24, maybe 25. I think so too. I expect, I expect Wiggins wins. to have a cool. 18, 19. I think Jordan Poole's going to average know, like, like 24, I, 25. Is he on my top 10 point guard list? Hell no. Shooting guard list? Hey, we're going to see what he does he next year. He had the worst year of his career. You can't even say okay, that. But Kuzma, like, had a good year. Kuzma had a good year. Jordan like, Poole's like, better than Kyle Kuzma, in my opinion. I mean, not from last I'm season. I'm not but wrong I'll, with that either. I'll, I'll, I'll going into next season, not, I think so. That's debatable, though. I feel like that's more debatable no, than fucking Andrew Wiggins. From last season, from last season, Jordan Poole? From last season, Jordan Poole. Yeah, I mean, if we're going off, you're not gonna change your mind, so we can like, move on. Oh, we gotta move on, man. Yeah. Kyle Kuzma out here. My number nine is Kyle Kuzma. Don't don't Thank worry you. about it, bro. All right, my number nine. I got Chris Middleton at number nine. Um, 
Uh, I mean, mistakes. like that's crazy. He, when when he's on, he's he. I think he's a top ten small forward. He's led a helped lead a team to a championship. He can he helps take pressure off Giannis when they need a bucket. You know, Giannis is the type of guy that can get in a mid range, hit a three pointer, and he's that guy for them. Drew, he's more of a catch and shoot, and they like you said that he he does whatever they ask of him. And Chris Middleton was that guy, but last year just bad season, injured in the playoffs. He wasn't that good. He did have a few games. They the one game they won, he played well in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he just had a down year, and so uh, I, I got to show a little respect to him. So I'm putting it. I'm nine. I think he'll bounce back. I think he'll be decent again. Um, so you think he'll get back to the level that he once was at? Uh, probably a little, a little worse. But I think he's important for them, and I think when he translates to winning, what he does for them, he's a smart player too. He's an underrated playmaker because they don't really have a true point guard. He does yeah. a little bit of the playmaking for them, and he's smart with the ball. So. I, I think he's important to them, and without him, they're not as good of a team. Their ceiling's not as high, and I think he'll bounce back um, and have a good year. Um, and I think he's better than guys like Kyle Kuzma, no, even Franz Wagner. <laughs> Franz Wagner, I, I think, could be better, but I'm going to give respect to Chris Middleton. I'm going to say the, the injury was what hurt him, and uh, I still believe that he's a top-10 small forward in the league. So I, I think he'd nine. have to be back to what he once was to be Crack top on, the list. He's on the list. He's a three-time All-Star, man. I mean, even if he's like – Yeah, because he was – Good. Yeah, we start, we're talking yeah, about going next season. I'm saying he'll get close to it. I'm not saying <laughs> oh. exactly like peak, peak, but like close to it. He'll still, you know, he, he yeah. I, I think, I think get Wiggins has it. a higher chance of averaging 20 than he does right now. Yeah. Exactly. Nah. I do too. That's why I have Wiggins at my number nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think Wiggins will get back to the level that he once was two years ago. I think the injuries and the off-court stuff really set off the team to, uh, not the team, but him personally to not be at the level that he once was. And we also had a bunch of injuries. The punch to Jordan Poole, like, kind of <laughs> offset the whole, like, Warriors, uh, Jeez, con- like, consistency and chemistry factor. So the trade for Chris Paul offsets that. And Chris Paul actually get Wiggins into positions. And, like, because Wiggins and Mikel are kind of, like, the same players. So he, they'll yeah, have that kind of chemistry level. I mean, when he was on the Suns. Because so, <laughs> we were co- the, contemplating or debating about Wiggins and Mikel. I finally have Mikel higher than Wiggins mm, yeah, <laughs> in the games yeah. that he played. All so I'll sudden. give you that. <laughs> But I, I think Wiggins is going to just elevate or be the same player that he was two years ago, which makes him nine Yeah, d- me, so. these guys' disrespect kind of makes me want to put him on my list just because, <laughs> like, I, I really he was really, like, between him and OG. I think they're, like, basically very equal to me. I think uh, imagine OG is almost on a Warriors, man. Imagine him and Wiggins on the same yeah, team. Yeah, that would be, be crazy. They'll just do the same thing, which will make them better. So. On off note, you see that video of Jordan Poole practicing his boxing? Yeah, so <laughs> like, I also saw him in like a wizard's costume too, taking a pic <laughs> yeah. for IG. Yeah, I see that too. You can say eight whenever you're ready. Or you, or you said nine, huh? You're, yeah. You go eight. Yeah, you go eight. Around, then. Yeah. You, you we we do it like snake. Okay, yeah, okay. Snake. All right, my number eight, I have Mikal Bridges. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. I think wow, he's God, better than the. <laughs> he's better than the people nah, below him, I but I don't think he's at the level of the people above him. I just, I think like, I think this season he's gonna have a great chance to. Prove me wrong and go up on the list, but we'll uh, see what he does this season. But I feel comfortable at number eight right now. Cool. All right. I actually have DeMar DeRozan at number eight. I also have DeMar DeRozan here at number eight. The reason I have him at number eight is because he's getting older. Other players are getting better. Where This list is based off of next season. I don't think he's going to have the same two seasons that he had in the past. I know he always he trains hard. He keeps his body up to shape. He'll he's be always good. the same player. But I just think other players are going to elevate that the people I have on top of them on my list. So yeah, and I also think like his game, um, you know, the fact that he doesn't take a lot of threes uh, is kind of harmful for. Well, I don't want to say harmful, Outdated. but it's, it's, it's detrimental uh, to today's NBA, <clears throat> at least for one of your best players. That's why we see with the Bulls, even the, even though you know they have played well at times, their ceiling is still like a playoff. Play, low seeded playoff team, play in team with this core, and they really doubled down on it. They paid Vucevic, they brought back all the guys, you know, yeah. they got Javon Carter to replace the Lonzo minutes. And so, you know, we know the ceiling of this team. We know that DeMar being your best player, we've seen before in Toronto, even like there, there's a cap on it. And he's just Badly. getting older, like you said. He's still a great player. That's why he's on the list, you know. Hitting game winners all the time, back to back nights, mid range shot is deadly. He cool. Can, he's on that that boy nice list, that's for sure. Yeah, he's de- <laughs> he's definitely one of my favorite players to watch, just like uh, on a fun standpoint. Yeah. And I, he's he got that killer mentality, so I respect that. But in terms of the other guys, I think they're gonna take a step up. Whereas he he's gonna fall into a, a, a lesser role, especially if he wants to win. I think that's what he needs to do um, mm-hmm. for the, the team to take a step up. Someone else on the team is gonna have to make a jump while he you know settles into more of a I'm gonna get it where I fit in type of role. Yeah. So I got him here. Well, I got Mikael. Hey, 
Because I'm surprised. Uh, I am surprised. Too. <laughs> you know, identical yeah, as you know, Liz. Like, you know, he's nice as hell. He averaged 26 in the 20 whatever games. But we're going to have to defend This is the time. Him. This is the time where I'm going to use that 20 something games against him. Because, wow. I thought I knew this one today. I thought I knew this one today. When we're talking about a top 10 list, you know, I'm a, you know, I got to stay consistent with my takes. I always give it to consistency you know what i mean like to people who've proven that they could be this good yeah. at this level for a longer time so i do i have demar at seven mm, but it's like i think mikhail obviously has a chance to be better than demar but demar has averaged 25 plus you know what i mean like he can still get 25 plus next year very well uh, i see your point yeah mikhail has a chance to not for whatever reason even though i don't think he will but ben simmons comes back up then mikhail's production well i think Mik- i think well right he's now, not gonna be scoring yeah, presently constructed, he's gonna have the ball mikhail's the number one i think presently constructed he's i think he will average like even if mikhail's the one though 26. ben is still gonna have the ball in his hands and the usage is the reason why i say his points will go down yeah. well yeah. he'll ben simmons that's, will help set him up for easier buckets yeah that's i think yeah. his offset all yeah, that is like yeah, placed out and like debatable. Yeah. We're the same but wavelength right now. When it comes to like <laughs> Demar, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Demar the edge just because he's proven that even though he doesn't take that many threes, you know he could always start shooting threes. You know people do when they get as they get older sometimes. Nah, he's, LeBron, he's, 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 he's too old for that. He's like yeah. 35, man. Like I said, anybody <laughs> like it's not that hard to. It start would be an interesting like, development, but he's yeah. constantly but, said he has, doesn't. I mean, D Wade started shooting threes late in his career, so yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to the proven guy. So I got Macau eight. I got Demar seven for well the reasons that I stated. I got Demar at eight, Mikel at seven. Um, <laughs> I also have Mikel at my seven. I think he's just the gonna, same as I, I I think he's just gonna have a better season than Demar. I think he well I'm not gonna say average twenty seven points, but I think he could definitely be a twenty point per game scorer, be the number one option for the Nets. And like we talked about a br- briefly in a Ben Simmons thing, I think the Nets could surprise people, especially because if their defense is good, that's where they could hang their head on. They got a lot of good defenders. Mm-hmm. Us hoping Ben Simmons is healthy. They got one of the best bigs good protecting the rim. Too. Right, they got scores. They got fucking Lonnie Walker, Cam Thomas off the bench. These Spence. guys can, right? Spencer, uh, Dinwiddie, Mikael's gonna get buckets. Cam Johnson can shoot. Nigga, he, he, him too. Like his. They his drafted well. They drafted Derek Whitehead, who was a top ranked prospect coming in a, a, from high school, and he just didn't play well in college. So they took yeah. a flyer on him in the twenty. So that's good for them. Um, so yeah, I, I really think they got a lot of potential, and I think Mikael could. Show a lot of people that I'm not gonna say he's like the uh, the franchise player, but he could be like a number two on a championship level team if he you know holds it down. They still may end up making a playing appearance, playoff appearance. Um, I think he could uh, show a lot of people what he's capable of, and I think he will do that next season. He's a two way player um, in terms of being able to guard multiple positions. Could uh, averages I don't know how many steals, a couple steals a game, Plays could block, game. yeah. Yeah, better defender um, than that too. Demar, that's a good. So. That's a good point. He he's an Iron Man. He played eighty three games last season. Eighty three. Eighty three. Yeah, so more. Yeah, yeah. So I value that. Um, I think he's a team player too. I think he'll do whatever it takes for the team to win. So even if you know the Nets end up trading for fucking Joel Embiid or whatever, and he has to take a backseat, I think he's willing to do that. We've seen him be in that role, and I value that a lot more than someone like Demar, which we have, we've never seen him play in a diminished role. He's not you know he's not very good with the ball in his hands. He's getting older, so I'm gonna value that. Uh, of Mikel's above Demar. Yeah, basically said it all. I'll just add to the point where you got him here too. Uh, Mikel, yeah, I have uh, Demar or no, Mikel at seven, and uh, I just think Demar is getting older. He's and Mikel is higher upside, and everything that you said, I, I yeah, I really, I really glazed so. him right there. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not much more to say. Yeah, yeah I mean, me. I, I don't really see like I see everything you guys said, but like there's also a possibility where he just comes into like this season and like. Like, if he's, like, you know, their number one and, like, they figured this man out and he averaged, like, 17, 18 points. Like Austin Reeves. I don't see that happening. But I'm, I mean, figured out. I'm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was not averaging the whatever thing. But, uh, I mean, I like Mikel. I like what he did. I hope he does, like, what he did in those 20, 30 games or whatever. That would be nice. I, yeah. I, have a, I have a weird, like, feeling that, like, people are going to, like, start game planning around this and it might not go his way anymore. But we'll see. I mean... I have the same thing as Omari DeRozan at seven, Mikel at eight. I think we're all gonna have this. But six, like, though. but like, I'm like I said this or when I first said this, Mikel, Mikel could like jump on this list a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Depends on how his season goes. But right now, I feel confident like the no, stat range. I think range. number six. Like everybody, I think is gonna be unanimous. All right, who's your number here. six then, Gabe? My number six. Yeah. Oh, my number six is Bi. 
I also have Brandon Ingram at number six. Yeah, I got Brandon Ingram. Yeah, me too. too. (laughs) It just makes sense. It does make sense. Uh, But I think, honestly, I love Brandon Ingram's game. Like, I really wish I could put him above the person I have above him, but I can't just because the team hasn't been winning. He hasn't been uh, incredibly healthy. Um, And I, 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 I looked up his stats. I even tweeted this. For that one playoff series against the Suns, he averaged like 27, 7, and 7 or something. Like insane. Peak. So he, he's shown that he could be a playoff performer. And I really want to see him in a winning situation because I think you put him with a superstar and a good team that can make the finals, be in deep playoff runs, he's going to show that he's a top five small forward in the league. He got that KD-like game to him where he could just get to his spots, raise up, shoot up. over everybody. He's a super underrated playmaker. Like, Still young, too. Yeah, but, he's yeah. He, he, uh, the, the passing, I, I bet on prize picks on him all the time. <laughs> uh, his, his assist line, he'd be going over that all the time just because he has the ball in his hands a lot. And he could, you know, he 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 knows how to find his teammates, and they run him at point with CJ. They kind of mix and match. They don't have a real point guard, so they mix them yeah, together. His playmaking has got way. I love when he facilitates, bro. I love when he decent, facilitates. Yeah. Decent rebounder, and he could get a bucket for you any type of way. Three level score, midi auto, automatic. Yeah. He get to the rim, finesse. He could even dunk on people. Um, three point shot, he got a good free throw shooter. I mean, I, yeah, not just a seeing him say, healthy, his, seeing him healthy in a winning situation, I think he could be a top five small forward and. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of good to say about him. Also, he's, underrated defender. He's also been consistent. Like, back to what you said with DeMar averaging 25 and consistency. Yeah. That's why you have him B. over B. Mikel. Been, been cooking That's why I have B.I. over Mikel for, yeah. for me because he's always been consistent. And it, he, he can always – he always seems to get better every season too. Like, with the – not necessarily weaknesses, but things that he doesn't need to do, he does get better at. Like, he the playmaking. Game, yeah. yeah. So, I think this year he'll get more rebounds and he'll be more aggressive rebounding the ball. And he'll keep up whatever he's I been doing in the past. I think his defense will improve this season. That too. Because he hasn't been he has like a body an elite. Type for yeah, it too. He, he hasn't been an elite defender, but I think that'll improve if the team starts winning. Like if, yeah. if they're in, if they're like yeah, you try hard in the playoffs. This is the year for the Pelicans. Care more. Yeah. This is the year for the Pelicans. Him and Zion. It's money time. If this doesn't work out now, then <laughs> yeah, they're dropping a lot on my list. Like he wouldn't. Even, he might. He'll be my top ten just off talent alone, but. He'll drop well, a lot it of could spots. be not because of him. Like, what if he's playing well and like fucking CJ's on bullshit, Zion's okay, on bullshit? Okay, yeah. You know, but what are the odds of that? Matters, yeah, I don't. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what what the situation. There's a lot in the air for them. What about uh, you guys? Have anything to say that hasn't yeah, been said yeah, about sorry, Bi? We all got Bi. So no, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of praise. He, I just, yeah, at this point, it's just like he's, the guys above him. Better. He's really good. Yeah, the guys above him is just better. I miss Brandon. He needs to win more. I think. When he <laughs> I love him. More, he you love AD up. too. I so. love Brandon. Well, when Brandon Ingram was a oh, was a Laker, bro, yeah, I was glazing. So, I was glazing so hard that for Chris. What? I love them, bro. What are my favorite players to watch? Talking about five. Yeah, what are we? I know who you have a five. I, think I, know, I don't yeah. like my go next ahead, three. Ahead, I don't, don't like my next three. Yeah, make sure you guys say you're like number five so I, I can Paul put George. it in a TikTok. Cause I got no- Paul George at number five. Okay, yeah. My number five, I got Paul George. At my number five, I think I also have Paul George. Yes, I have Paul George at my number five. At my number five, I have Jimmy Butler. Dun, dun, dun. Damn. But, 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 but. My number four I is mean, Paul George. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean. Up. I just, everything just calculated. How do you have Jimmy Butler at number four? Over, how is Paul George no. better than Jimmy Butler? I mean, I it's think plain. Jimmy Butler's like, I think, I, well, it's kind of hard to say. There's a way to like, argue this, but I want to see if he can do it. Bro, yeah, I, I have to say, like, like, there's like one the, way to argue I, well, I, I, too, I, I, but okay. that boy nice. <laughs> okay, okay, yes. listen, listen. The, yeah, the reason I have. You put it better, but the yeah. Reason, the reason I have the, like, okay, so now you know who's my, like, five is Jimmy Butler, so you know I have above him. Yeah. The reason I have Paul George above Jimmy Butler is, one, I think their skill, I think Paul George is a more skilled basketball player. Okay. Fair. I think Paul George is more skilled offensively by a good like a good about you know playmaking, um, offense shooting. I think he's better than Jimmy mm, at that. Mm. I think defense they're pretty close I guess because Jimmy right. is the dog on defense. Fair, Paul George right, is also right. a dog on defense, but I just don't think. How do I say this without like? I think Jimmy Butler's like not better than Paul. Fuck! How do I even say this? No, <laughs> I agree with you. Like, what do you mean? Here, like, I just don't this. think he's. I don't think he's a better hooper. I don't think he's a better player. I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I know what he's done. Let me ask you one he, thing. I just want to ask I you. Know, so I know. Okay. <laughs> Paul George on the Clippers, is he the leader of his team? He is not the leader. Is Jimmy Butler the leader of his team? This is correct. You, yeah. You're right. And he's accomplished way more. Have you heard of uh, Paul George on his podcast? He has said before. I'm not a first option. I I think I'm a second option. <laughs> I hate this guy for saying he's a stupid ass coach, That's bro. Crazy. Like, here, hey, that time's like, like to, well, that guy's have, better um, than Jimmy, who just went meant to yeah. the NBA Finals. That's actually great. two times in the last and three that, seasons. That, that that's great. why that's, I have that's, Jimmy. That's, Jimmy is better. Well. It's straight off mentality. Like yeah, Jimmy Butler's yeah. mentality is way better than Paul George's, 
And his Those mentality always break, guys breaks down Paul George, too. The bubble, his mentality broke him down. What did that do to Jimmy? The that's bubble four years elevated ago. Jimmy. That's four Off years the ago. the side of the back. We're talking about right now. Four years okay. ago, is not, that, that's the past, buddy. I, th- I agree with you with Paul George having... He's skillful, skillful what are you doing like the everything. What are you doing in the playoffs this season? What are you doing the playoffs this season? He's straight up just better than Jimmy yeah, Butler. Yeah, but Jimmy say. Butler's mentality <laughs> pushes him far, I, I, higher I, I, than like... I being on this end because I know he has too. shit. He embraces the leadership role and like I know. Held, holds his teammates he's a accountable. Straight yeah. up. Paul George just, is a loser. Okay, I mean, he's not he embraces loser. the role. <laughs> he's a, he's okay, a loser. Jimmy Butler's a better winner. I think Paul George is a better player. Yeah. Paul George is a better Mentality wise. Mentality is the okay, only thing reason stop why. Stop adding words to my mind. I just said what I said. I said, it's Jimmy Butler's a better winner. Uh-huh. Paul George is a better player. That's why I have him higher on my list. Going into next season. And that's fair, but I think. In the, if we're talking the NBA, like if we're talking pickup ball, you got me, bro. I can't do no, Paul George. Give me Paul George over Jimmy Butler if we're yeah. going to fucking LA Fitness and I need a if, teammate. If God, you're I building was, a team, who are you picking? I was just talking Paul about George. NBA. If he was healthy, I'd pick Jimmy. I'd pick Paul. I'd pick Paul. No, if he's healthy, I'd pick. But I'd we're pick talking Paul. NBA teams when George it comes to the playoff, 16 game playoff playoffs four, four series yeah. that you got to win i'm taking jimmy butler it's yeah, these the health questions bro it's the playoff performance like bro, even if paul george played 82 games i'm still not choosing him over jimmy butler <laughs> yeah like when at the end of the day skill wise paul george cooks some you yeah. like paul george skill wise paul george cooks a lot of people he's one of the but, best skill yeah, players like, in the league period he could still be it like he could be a number one option like they're not gonna win no chips yeah, yeah. as a number one option he's they'll gonna average his, he, he'll average 26 27 28 points yeah. like don't be a playoff he'll be, mentality he'll be, he'll be mvp candidate but when cook. it comes to jimmy like i'm when it comes to stats he elevates like you can't, his team yeah you can't just rate Jimmy off of, oh, he averages 22 and Paul George yeah. averages like 26. More than a stat. And we know because, Jimmy don't yeah, care about Jimmy the regular season. when Jimmy gets to the playoffs, like, nigga averages like 38. <laughs> for a little so, for a little bit. It's and like, then he drops. But he takes his team but all the way to the finals. Yeah. What about Paul George? Hey, no, no, no. Don't tell said, me about no I drop with Paul thing. George. Yeah, I just said one thing. <laughs> y'all got like to come uh, on me, Paul. Paul George dropped. The effort The effort that Jimmy puts in, like, on a nightly basis on the in those games that matter, like... He's is literally doing anything that he possibly can to make sure his team wins. You know, like yeah. And to add to what Omar said too, like it's more than just what he does on the court. It's what he does off the court to elevate his teammates. The dog mentality that he has, he got to stick up for his him. teammates, and people will follow him because of that. When have you seen Paul Paul George acts like not to be mean, but like a pussy? Like <laughs> yeah, he's, he's <laughs> hey, no, they're, they're, they're hey, post game quotes are night and day. Paul this man, I like Paul George. <laughs> their their post game quotes are night and day. Paul's like, that's a bad shot. Jimmy's like. I don't care what anybody says. We're winning this fucking series down 3-0. Like, he, it's like, not a day mentality. What he did right. the with the uh, Grant he Williams it. and, like, talking back, Paul George will never do that. Ever. Okay. And that's why he's just not. Okay, but he's a better player. That's all I said, bro. I didn't yeah, say nothing not... about mentality. Okay, better player. He's, if you have better Who's your number four? Dude, Who's Kyrie, your number four? Who's your number four? Back to the Kyrie th- well, hold Who's up. your number four? Hold Jimmy Ford. This is back to the Kyrie thing. Like, is Paul Kyrie's George probably one of the best skilled player in the league. Doesn't mean he's the best player Why are we talking about Kyrie? Go to your number four. Right, this guy just wants to defend his point. He said that you, you have you, you know, we're, we're, a bullying, better player. we're bullying him. Yeah. was too much. He's we a better go player four. than my, Jimmy Butler. My we, four is uh, Jimmy Butler. I oh, my God. We, we got, uh, that's why I said Jimmy at four. I got Jimmy at four. I got Jimmy at four. All right. Top three then. Great. Top three. A-W-G. Dog mentality. Top three. Who go ahead. I'll say my number three. Yeah, go ahead. my number three, I have Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, unfortunately, I also have I got Kawhi, Kawhi at three. I have Kawhi Leonard at my number three as yeah. well. It unfortunately, you don't play basketball, Kawhi. Yeah. But, <laughs> but otherwise, you're still top three, you'd be <laughs> one of the best in, ever, in the game. Uh, he still be top. Let's, uh, still let be me add, let's talk about this. If Kawhi what players, is debatable? If he played, it would be more of a debate than it is. Yeah, I mean, when he plays, he averages what he usually averages. It's not like he doesn't. You know what I mean? So but that, like, that holds him back a lot. He didn't play in the playoffs. He doesn't play in regular season. He's yeah. Play Bro, if he had playoff success, we'd have some different talks right now. He's so always, he has, but just not lately. When it comes to scoring and production, he's always at like 27, 26, you know? So yeah, he's never been a thirty pointer. You know, it's really efficient. Ever, he's never ever been a thirty pointer. I mean, we, we, we know who he is when he plays, bro. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Player, one of the best in the league. So, do you but, like potentially and stuff? Uh, or hypothetically, if he played all eighty two games, would he, he be, would still be number average. three, I think or would he be? Two. I think he'd be top two. Depending yeah. on the other season, someone else has. Depending on the season, someone else has. If he played every fucking game and the playoffs, oh yeah, they probably have a championship by now. To be honest, like he'd be number one for me. I mean, unless someone like. Like theoretically, like if this season your time is wonder season that he averages like thirty, what like what did you say? No, thirty plus. If he does games? whatever, everything that he does like now, but he just plays all all the games. Oh, like twenty seven, like six and five. Yeah. But he then be, what if you have like like someone has a really good season, like an MVP Braun year or something, right? Like you pick Braun, right? We're talking about Braun right We're now. Just oh, about so right you're now. talking about like yes, oh, right, now. Right, now. Yeah, right now. Yeah, right now. If, okay. Right now, Kawhi Leonard played all eighty two games. I mean, isn't that like what Tatum did this year? Kind of. <laughs> Right, but he's not Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, <laughs> you're talking about regular, sure, regular games. season. Like he's asking just about Kawhi if
Yeah, he'd oh, be yeah. my no, the best. Games. He'd be one or two. He'd be number one for like me. Tatum. Tatum did thirty plus on that eighty games, seventy games. Well, I mean, they usually he gets hurt and they lose. Like every time he's healthy, they win. That year the Suns the made the, the finals. Nuggets. That year the Suns made the finals because Kawhi tore his ACL against the Jazz. Yeah, they literally were in that. They won. They lost in six without I Kawhi. Mean, Kawhi has a ring because what's the name tore his ACL. I mean, tore his Achilles. So. But he still balled out though. Like yeah, that's not his. He has his the greatest problem, shot in, his in uh, game seven. Yeah, that's a game seven history. That's and then even favorite. against the Nuggets, like it's obviously Paul George's fault why they lost, not Kawhi's. He shows up when you need him to show up, right? Besides him getting hurt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like when it comes to Kawhi, like. It's, it's mainly about health, but I'm just saying that his peaks, oh shit, I'm sure. his peaks it's like, cool. um, hold on, I'll, I'll finish my point in a second. <laughs> I don't even need it. Where's like, I'd pick, I'd pick Kawhi over Tatum, like, like easily at that point after who he is, but then like, Cause I just got, I just put too much value on Braun, so it'd be like whatever Braun does that year. Like, but you're saying this year though, so it's yeah. just a load management, going in, bro. In, yeah, going yeah. to it is the load management. That's what like, you bro, just, if I could just save Kawhi until like the playoffs, and then hopefully I could just abuse the shit out of him. Like, yeah, I want to I do mean, that. I mean, but they've been doing that for the last couple of and years. And it still fails. Yeah, <laughs> like it's my, crazy. My point with Kawhi is like, I don't know if it's just his mentality. You know, I don't know why, but he always stays at like 27, 28. You know what I mean? Like LeBron, it's Tatum. Enough. You other mean people, games? No, 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 like, uh, <laughs> like, like good yeah, one. Like yes. <laughs> yes. No, I wasn't sure. I had that. This is why. You know, hey, you that, could, that could also be the case. That. We got to clip that. But yeah, like he, I didn't even mean it like that. Like, I, I, I don't know if he curious. just like you know. I feel like Kawhi Vince. is always like pretty aloof. Obviously, he cares about the game. I'm not gonna say like he don't care about hooping, yeah. but he always like he he'll, he'll get his his forty you know maybe fifty point game. But when it comes to no. average, he's always like 27 or so. Yeah, but he got the skill. He got the skill. Yeah, LeBron's game, like, other people, you know, they're, trying to, they're going pushing no, 30s, you know, it. like. 46. They're pushing 30 points per game and stuff. And that's why. And plus, aside from defense, like on the other aspects of basketball, like the people I have above are doing better. a little bit more. Yeah. And are, and are better. But. That's why Kawhi to, like Kawhi's greatness to for him to be number three with uh, how many games he plays like yeah that's what I, but that's what I'm saying but like even like if he were to play all those games and still average the same thing then I'm still gonna have him third but like I wouldn't if yeah. I think the game, if like the, him playing more games got him like you know like more reps more warm and he started like playing even better then obviously yeah I'd have him I might have him higher but I think it's still average the same it just be you think he's more valuable games. yeah he really is. It would yeah, matter. The, the Clippers wouldn't get stuck in the in the play in every season. Like. They'd be a championship <laughs> team. Yeah, they'd be in the finals by now. At yeah, least. I mean, at least playoff locks time. at least, so they don't have to fight for the play in. Yeah. yeah, bro, Paul George is out there fighting uh, with the Pelicans by himself. <laughs> Tooth and nail, man. Yeah. And he didn't I even know. play that whole season. He just came back just to have fun. I know. Kawhi was fighting last season without PG though, so yeah. shit. Man, <laughs> it goes both ways. Is this they the year? Cursed. Is That's this why. the year they finally play? You've been oh. saying that every year. Is this the year? Is this the year? Bro, Russ is gonna have to try to try to cross burn. Pray for us, man. <laughs> this is, he, he went there so they would praise him because he actually plays at least. Uh, Ty Lue really said that they'll, they're they going to focus on the regular season more this year, but I don't know how true that is. It's good. They should. Like, for once, they should care about, like, getting reps in and playing and not showing up to the regular season. Yeah, because you got to build a foundation at this point because your foundation is gone because those players haven't played in a couple of years. you got to hustle through the plane, and then Kawhi gets into playoffs all hurt. Like, you got to just make sure you're – you could rest them – at the end, or end of the regular season, if you take the regular season serious, and yeah. then Kawhi's into the playoffs healthy as opposed he needs to, to play at least sixty games next yeah. year. The first sixty should do it like, and then you space them out a little, or like the first fifty, fifty-five. See where you are. You gotta take breaks. And I break. know. Oh yeah, but like just don't yeah, play back to back. Sample. Yeah. Yeah. He's never wearing the word ever again. Anytime all yeah. NBA's I mean, we just want to yeah. see him in the playoffs at yeah. this yeah, point, at bro. This because point. bro, you know he's gonna make the playoffs. I was like thirty-two or thirty. Like it's yeah. cra- he's just gonna do it. Some Jimmy Butler shit. Yeah. All right, man. So we got number two. Who we doing? What are we doing? Number two. Who wants to say who two? Wants, yeah, who wants uh, to I'll glaze <laughs> or not glaze? Nah. Then you're looking let's at go with Gabe this time. Yeah, I let's think go with Gabe. Gabe went the last two times. But no, you're it's, a LeBron it's fan. It's his turn. So I want to know. I want to have right, the right mystery of how uh, you have LeBron two or one. So go ahead, Gabe. My number two is LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> All right, explain why. Just. The guy number one's a little better. <laughs> uh, that's about it's it. Like, like, I don't know. It's LeBron, you know. But uh, like, I, I also I, agree uh, with disagree. you. I have uh, LeBron James at number two. I got LeBron at two also. The reason I, why I have LeBron at two is he's just getting older. The guy in front of him is Half younger. his age old. He's getting better. <laughs> he's 19. Every season. <laughs> he's still 19 years old. <laughs> so that's a big factor. So why? 
Uh, Father Time doesn't account for LeBron, but it's going to hit him sooner rather Shit, that motherfucker was time. about to retire. So. No, it's not. Yeah, he was contemplating nah, retirement. Really. Fake retirement. That was a, that was a good was tactic. Obviously L- IQ. Yeah, L- high IQ. IQ right there. But yeah. him thinking about that is... Uh, it's, it's coming. I think he only has two more years left. Right, yeah, I think. You uh, how you feel? No, yeah, I got LeBron at two as well. I think. Uh, I mean, he could do everything. We all know this. I'm not gonna glaze him. He's literally the best player of all time. Um, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. No offense, Jordan, but <laughs> uh, yeah, at this age age of his career, I think he's looking to more if to pass the torch to AD. I think he's been trying to do that for the last couple of seasons, and AD is kind of like, maybe I'll take it today. I want it today. He'll I'm gonna score forty today. I might ready. not. Hopefully next season he's in MVP discussions. We'll see. I think with it, he showed us in the playoffs uh, if he could if he could uh, replicate that in a regular season. I think we'll, we'll we'll really start cooking. Also Austin Reeves the signings we made. This is not a Lakers video anyway. Yeah. Let me chill this out. But, Boo on AD. Put Lakers Boo. in the title. Put Lakers in the title right now. <laughs> yeah. I disagree with that. That's AD all tip. I needed to. That's all I need to say about the Lakers. But for him, he's just looking more to get player other players on his team involved. He's not gonna give you 40 points every single game he's not that player anymore he doesn't have the energy to will teams to victory every yeah, night he's he needs to get uh, his players involved put people in the right position he's the smartest player in the game has ever seen so that's what mainly he's like an on-court coach like the best on-court coach there is right now yeah. and so his, his he's a step slower on defense too like there's literally possession where he just now, doesn't though. fucking get yeah, back on years. defense <laughs> nah, cap. And, and the other guy that's above him literally nah, has improved that level of his game and his playmaking player, and all yeah. that no, and not and not that lebron isn't the greatest ever but just at 40 years old like he just dropped off a little. You still the two second best, Bron. You know what I mean? At you're twenty one too, right? Yeah, you're twenty one second best small forward. Yeah. That's a, that's that's a that's not a laughing matter. That's something to be proud of. So he's yeah. almost been in the league as long right. as like as old as we are. See why you're so, uh, number, number two. So uh, this is why you guys are wrong. All right. So <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. nah, but okay. Say your number two for a second. Quickly. Obviously, I got Tatum number two. I got LeBron <laughs> number one. All right. Good, good, good Not only is LeBron the best small forward, <laughs> <laughs> he's, the best, he's the best <laughs> player in the league. league. <laughs> That's it. Uh, but man, this is your best opportunity to glaze this man. All right, man. It's not even glazing, yo. It's not even glazing. I have, I have Get the real ready. arguments. <laughs> so, look. When it comes to, like, Tatum and LeBron, obviously, when it comes, it's I feel like the Tatum and LeBron thing is more of, like, I would say it's, I rate it the same way I rated PG and Jimmy. It's just like, at this point in time, Tatum, he's doing what he's doing. Like, he is a better basketball player. You know, I'm... He's also had more success, too, though. No, I mean, (laughs) more success. No, recent years, yeah. Uh, Two finals, or not two finals, conference finals, finals. He's been in multiple LeBron conference has a finals. Chip. Better team. LeBron His team's team taking the finals. No, but he's, no, I'm talking about recent years. Dude. <laughs> Obviously, LeBron has a better career. <laughs> no, okay, well, I'm talking about just in like the last a few years, too. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, like, last but four injuries years. also play a big part in the Lakers' demise in those couple of years. But, and Westbrook. Would you say that for but this year, though? When Denver it comes to, killed, yeah, like, at, this, at the end though. of the day, like, when, when LeBron was healthy, when LeBron was healthy, on the season itself, he averaged 30 points. If you see what he did when he came back from injury, not even fully healthy, nigga averaged like 38 in the last... But you think he's going to do that next season? No, nah, but it's just like he has the capability. He's the smartest player on the floor at all times. So it's like Tatum, he's a great shooter right now. He, I'm sure he's going to average 30 next year. You know what I mean? Like, there's not obviously not much bad you can say about him. He is a great defender. He keeps improving. Mm-hmm. But we're also not going to sit here and act like LeBron wasn't locking up in the playoffs. Um... He averaged 30 points on the season on his year 20. He averaged mad. He, he still turned it up in the playoffs while hurt. You know what I mean? Like, if LeBron Stop, has a man. full Fair season. Point. He can Fair play. He can if play, LeBron bro. has a Stop full this. season. Nah, we not. But still, like, if LeBron has a full offseason, hopefully he got whatever procedures he needed. You know, hopefully he's training camp. And if barring health, I think LeBron is still the most valuable player. No, he's definitely going to miss games games what's it called? and get hurt because of his age. No, nah, you don't. But he's never. Every never, player has. He's not. But he's not getting ticky tack. He's not getting ticky tack injuries. He'll, he'll get hurt. No, nah, but he's not, not getting. He's not getting ticky tack injuries though. Niggas is falling into his legs and shit. You know what I mean? Like he's not, not last year. What the Solomon Hill was like a long. No, no, no. The foot thing. I know, but the foot thing like that's age. It was no, but it was not just age. That it was stemming from. It was stemming from that, but. I think he'll miss more. I think right now, like because of age, is here too. If it, when, if as long as he doesn't get like if he rests, cool. Kawhi rests like a trillion games. <laughs> like if he rests, him, cool. If he gets injured, yeah, then that's different. Cool. But yeah. well, for I think LeBron, barring, it doesn't matter if he rests. barring health, I think that he is still the most valuable player on on the floor at all times. Like Tatum, like you see what LeBron did in the playoffs while hurt. What did Tatum do in that series against the Heat? Like he had a, a few 
stinker doo doo games. You yeah. know what I mean? Like well, LeBron's impact is not as big as it once was to be the best Nick, player to impact the where, game. Hey, He's where not. was uh Jason Tatum impact? Where the, the Warriors boys go? Does. Where the, where the, We're not talking about the he Warriors. Sent the jaw, he sent he sent Jaw home with a forty piece. Like the Warriors where, weren't good last year. No, but I'm saying like he's he's still produce. Like you can say Tig is easy. You can say oh I think I'm he's gonna, gonna say, do do like, less. But if I'm going off just his production, even in the last when he got back from injury to the end of the playoffs, you're not gonna tell me he's he uh, wasn't playing like the best. To negate one of the best that players in the world. that point is because he had to do that right because the, yeah, they didn't he, have Anthony Davis. But when they got into the playoffs. You can easily tell that he took a, a lesser role. He was letting Austin Reeves cook. Some nigga was Rui. saying, I'm him, I'm him, like, at the fourth yeah, quarter. Yeah, because like, it was nice. Rui, Rui got the highest three-point percentage. Rui, D-Lo was having some good games. Like, but that shows off his IQ. Yeah, yeah but that shows off his IQ. IQ. But his impact isn't as big as it once was. You're going to tell True. me Le- Miami also, Heat LeBron or Cavs LeBron's allowing that? He'll take over the whole game and let those guys cook. He wouldn't but get swept. He would not get huge swept. Impact. Well, well, yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. but okay, look. So, like, if we, okay, if we took 2012, if we took 2012 LeBron and put guys. him on this list, they would be like, like, like five, like B, ten C, spots. Okay. Yeah, it'd be like, like LeBron and then like ten, just just empty spots. Exactly, Tatum. But that's why we're not talking about his impact is not the same anymore. And these players, I think Tatum has a higher impact on this team. Let me let me let me argue. We get for agree, Tatum. disagree, but currently I we still got, think that LeBron is is more valuable to his team and like what he can do. Obviously, like oh, hopefully he doesn't have to. Yeah. Get but what ball. he can do and what he showed in the end of this, what's it called, end of the uh, season run, he clearly played like he averaged like thirty five something, like still almost a triple double. Like I, I respect. It's like I what can what can you I still think say about? My mind actually. <laughs> oh, it's like what more can you say? And plus, yeah, let, let him talk yeah, about Tatum, yeah, and then you're not going to talk about Tatum. Hey, and they both took their teams to Western Conference Finals. You know, I yeah. mean the the Conference Finals. So we lost to the champions. Tatum, you know, when it comes to team success, they both was right there. I think I think Tatum's the best small forward in the league. Let me explain why. He's been why you have, you he's say, been he's yeah, been had playoff success since his rookie season. He played with Kyrie Irving, and those were his worst seasons when he was the second best player on the team. Then he took over the mantle as the best player. They started making the playoffs every single season. They've been a top seed. He was an MVP candidate last season, top five MVP candidate, all NBA first team, 30 point per game score. Every season that they have him on the team, they're going to be a championship contender, bar none. Doesn't matter what coach they have, as long as they have him and JB, or even if they don't have JB, just a player of similar comparison, similar skill set, they're going to be a championship level team. Is because of Jason Tatum, because he can. He's one of the best scorers in the league. He's improved his playmaking to the point where they say they can trade Marcus Smart. We don't really even need a point guard. We can nice. we can chill with Brogdon. We can chill with Derek White and Jason Tatum handling the ball most of the time. He he's 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 learning to round out his game. He's learning to get that mid range game going. He's getting better at drawing fouls. He's an underrated rebounder. He's had multiple games in the playoffs where he's getting like 15 rebounds. He had the most. Points in a game seven elimination game against the 76ers. I remember watching that game. He was going fucking stupid. Yeah. Broke Steph's Curry record, who set that shit a week earlier. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, he's he's one of those players. He's an MVP candidate. I think he will win an MVP in the next, I don't know, three seasons, four seasons, barring health. And his team's going to be good as long as he's healthy, no matter who's on the team. So I think he's taking the mantle as the best small forward in the league um, for all those reasons that I said. I also have Tatum at number one for the reasons that you said. Also, like he gets better every single year. There's not he always finds a way to improve his game, just like I said with Bi. But it's obviously at a different level because his, he takes his team to the conf- conference finals, the finals as the best player on the team, averages thirty, always in the MVP conversation. He's never doing anything wrong. He's a good leader. Elevates his, elevates everybody on his team too. You see what he was saying in the AAU, like. Uh, he, he was giving that speech. Um, what the fuck was he saying? He's like, everybody want to score or something. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and But when you get to the NBA, like, no, not Nobody's not everyone could be a scorer. You know what I mean? You got to yeah. be able to do the little things. Also, that, his off-court capability. I mean, this doesn't matter because they're both like good off-court. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> not going to be LeBron yeah, off-court. <laughs> he's a good face of the league. Like, I, I think he's probably the best face of the league for the future because yeah. there's nothing wrong that you see with him. That's a different point. But I just think Jason Tatum's – the best small forward in the league because he always elevates his game. He continues to get better. Well, LeBron's decreasing, and his impact isn't as big as Tatum's is for his team. Think he's decreasing? Think 30 points per game is decreasing? Well, yeah, no, I don't think he's LeBron's average. decreasing. I said LeBron is no, decreasing. No, that's what I'm saying. Well, actually, that's what said. You think 30 is yeah. decreasing? He's yeah, going to he decrease. Gonna decrease. Yeah, he's not going to average 30 next season. No, yeah. I don't think he's going to average 30 next season. Okay, yeah. guys, change my mind. He's more valuable. <laughs> Back to my original mind. All right. Okay. We have, uh, Give your final mind. My number one is Jason Tatum. I don't know if I said my number two is LeBron. I think I did, right? Regardless, yeah, I think you did. Jason you, you Tatum. You started off with LeBron. I, I did, yeah. yeah. LeBron is still, you know, 
he's still that guy. Just Jason Tatum is pretty. I'm just saying, like looser terms. Jason Tatum is just not like he's just better right now, unfortunately. But I don't even think it's that far apart, honestly. I think it's like close. If if if, I've, if no one else said that, I think it's close. I mean, it is kind of close. Like well, for I, all I we know, like Tatum's I mean, I, I hate being like the devil's advocate, dude, fool. But all we know is like Jason Tatum plays a little bit worse, and LeBron still like plays a little bit worse. So they're like the same again. So then we're like, oh, who's better again? Yeah, the only thing but Jason Tatum right now. After no, this I mean, I don't, unless Jason Tatum like has a, a definitively worse games. season. Like if, if even if he averages less points, like he has to have like clearly a worse season. Like if he loses and he lower. averages twenty five points, I think that's his worst. The thing, that's his worst. I don't even thing. see that shit happening to be honest. <laughs> that's why I'm playing devil's advocate. The one bad thing I could say about Jason Tatum is that when the Lights get too bright in certain series. He that's falls what I'm off. Saying. Like the that's game before the the game before the game seven. He's he also has whole some series, big moments. But yeah, he'll have big moments, but then you have like like terrible games. I remember against the seventy yeah. sixers, he had nine points yeah, in the third uh, quarter. Uh, yeah. You show up in the fourth by yeah, having yeah. nine and three quarters as your Dude, best player. There was a is very stat. Bad. I think they were tracking. I, this is random. Random. When I remember, they were like Jason Tatum is Owen. Like, was it like uh, eighteen and like to try to make a was it a three or like a field goal in the first like. Two quarters or something. He was like scoring off free throws, bro. That's I gotta crazy. find that. Yeah. That was crazy. He, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That he was takes a, too many threes sometimes. Yeah. That's what. It's not that he's bad. He just settles for too many threes. That's when he he, he just starts chucking up deep ones, and he can get to the rim. He can hit mid range shots, and that's when he starts being on some bullshit. Yeah, he, he, and shooting like four for thirteen. It's when he's jacking threes up and not actually. That's getting goes a, to mentality to get a and consistency. Same in the finals too. Like Andrew Wiggins was cooking them two years ago, yeah. or he was locking them up. He. Actually, did, he played better than him. Straight he up, he killed so. the Heat, and then he got to the finals and had a terrible series. Yeah. It was like night and day. Yeah, and they had a terrible series against Miami, also. So, do you remember this? That's. What, I mean, that's partly why I was like, um, it's like obviously LeBron got swept, but <laughs> <laughs> he was in. The, he was obviously injured, but throughout the playoffs, so like came back down. He was still doing. He was still doing everything that he possibly could to uh, will that team to where they got. You know, that's why he's two. Nah, yeah, he, I mean, he's he just better. man. He's he just he just doesn't got the legs 